Project Manufacturing is in Wichita, Kansas today at the WSU Tech Campus. We have our 2022 National Welding Championship going on inside with Ben, Shannon, and Tony judging the success of 16 competitors from across the United States. Project MFG's mission is really all about promoting and elevating the trade workforce and letting people recognize the opportunity that exists to go into the trades for a lifelong career and a passion that they can follow that really gives them options that are different than going to college like so many people profess. What we see in, in the competition here in Wichita is we see competitors coming from all over the United States from trade training programs that are two-year associate's degrees. To win this competition, they're gonna to have to have great welding skills and they're gonna to have to be able to think on their feet real time. You look through this, this is what you're gonna see. When we're all said and done, I'm gonna hand you a WPS to create a weld. Does everybody know what a WPS is? So go ahead and flip that over, you'll see what weld you're gonna be creating. I'm Amy McNally, I'm 23 and I'm from Garden City, Michigan. I did the three year in school thing. I got an associate's degree and I still didn't really find a job that I thought suited me. And then I picked up welding for a little bit and I was like, this is definitely something that I wanna pursue. My name is Ken Forbes. I am 37 years old from Redford, Michigan. I was a swim coach for 17 years. Every athlete's different. So I would have to pay attention to every little nuance. Attention to detail is crucial in the trades. You have to be able to, to get the job done in a good, reasonable time, good quality, and thoroughly, so you don't have something fail on you later on. And that's in all trades. My name is Monique Miller. I'm from Danville, Virginia, and I am 23 years old. Prior to welding, I was a, a dental assistant, and then I was like, I do not like this. <laughs> and then I just, so it happened to one day be around like a lot of guys and they were welding and I tried it and I was like, you know what, this is fun. It sparked it, like my whole future, like what I'm going to do. My name is James Connors. I'm 29 and I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee. Prior to welding, I was a carpenter's apprentice and I helped build houses. I've only been welding for a little over a year. It uh, feels really good qualifying for this competition. It kind of like makes me feel better about my welding skills. As I came here, I kind of noticed a lot of people have uh, varying ranges of experience, quite a few more years of welding than me. So I'm just trying to think if my skills are gonna be enough to compete against them, but hopefully I'll be okay. So we're gonna start the four hour competition. You're gonna be getting your kit. You're gonna be assigned a booth. Remember, you're here to have fun. You're here to compete. You're here to walk away with maybe some money. But the most important thing you're here to do is be safe. Okay. I'm gonna sign your booth. Number three. Number five. Number seven goes to six and a half. Eleven, you're going to booth 15. Okay, you're on the clock. So having popped into the booths and looked at the anxiety level of some of the students, to win today, you really have to keep a cool head. It means a lot to be able to be here and represent the female side of the industry. One of the judges, Shannon, has kind of inspired me a little bit, you know, she's got like weld like a girl. It's really important, I think, for particularly the younger generation to understand that they can make an impact that will last. If you have a passion to do something, you're going to do it well. So you're just gonna have someone ignite that spark. Well, when I'm in my booth, you know, I'm sitting there thinking like, gotta take a deep breath, I'm gonna relax, you know, and just do the thing that I do, start welding, so. Comfort is key when it comes to welding. If you're not comfortable, it's, it's not gonna come out. Like your weld is not gonna end up looking good. Something goes wrong during welding, I just try to think of backup plan number two, three, and four. I'm pretty sure. I welded one of the parts like backwards. <laughs> so I had to like take it off and then do it again. So I just got to be like, all right, pinpoint where did I mess up at, take my time, and then work around and get to it. In the moment where my machine stopped working, I was feeling uh, very uh, stressed. I had everything going for me and then it just crashed instantly. So I just got to keep my head down, know how to know what I know how to do. and do what I can do, you know. So I'm in my booth putting together the base part 
and I notice I have the top piece on upside down, so I have to take my uh, slag hammer and jam it in the crack between the top piece and the, the walls so I can pry it off, and then I can flip it over and tack it back on welded. Five you know, as we get closer to that final moment, being able to stay calm in a pressure situation is gonna be really the key. I ran out of wire there at the end, so had to stop and pull the whole welder out and try to switch out wire, had to have somebody come help me. I was feeling panicked, because in that moment I was like, this is just eating up the clock for me, and my skills were there, I knew what I had to do, you know, it was just a matter of racing the clock to try to get it done. Going to the judging round, I saw some people's projects that looked really nice. I think I brought within myself everything that I could have brought to the table today, yeah. I know I didn't finish, but I know I did a good job on the worlds. I did my best and just kept my head high and kept going. As I came out of booth, I was kind of thinking about stuff that I maybe overlooked or didn't take my time on. I honestly don't know if I, how what it took to win, but I'll be more than happy if I do. I just had fun doing the whole Welding thing, you know? It's one of my favorite things to do is weld. As the judges are calculating scores, I'm, I am a little nervous, you know? I don't know how I did on the written part. Confident w with my score for the virtual reality portion of it, but I did kind of rush there at the end just to try to get everything pieced together to have all the pieces on it to turn it in. So, I don't know, we'll see. Fantastic student. Welders. They, they are amazing. At one point I had 55 submarines on my desk lined up looking at the different quality of welds. There are competitors in our competition today that are ready to go to the job and start, start working tomorrow. You guys did great. I know everyone tried really hard. We had some that held perfect pressure too, so that's really encouraging. Some of you had some hiccups along the way, but hopefully they were resolved and so uh, good job. All right, first off, I want you all to give yourself a hand. Great job, guys. So with no, no further ado, for number three, Cooper Davis. Cooper not only demonstrated today his proficiency at welding and the future he has, but he's demonstrated it over time. So congratulations and good job. In second place, Eli Childs from here at WSU. WSU got in the game and Eli's a testament to what happens when you get in the game. So congratulations, Eli. All right, so without further ado, we had one gentleman that rocked the house for $10,000 today. So Mr. James Kahn from TCAT Clerksville. My ears are ringing when he called my name. It's super awesome. I've never won anything in my entire life, not even a scratch card. $10,000. And I just, I can't believe it, it's awesome. So I'm gonna buy a generator welder, start a welding business. Great job, guys and gals, great job. Really appreciate everything you did. Thanks for showing up, being in the game. I think every time we have a contest like this, they learn something from being in the contest. If they didn't win, they, they see some of the things that they know they need to do differently. And then when they come back, they're gonna be better and they're gonna be, they're gonna be tougher competition the next time. Who can be a welder? Anyone who wants to, absolutely anybody. Girls can do it, men can do it, anybody can do it. You just have to have the patience and the time. So anybody can. As soon as you get that one little feeling, you're gonna keep going. No one does not like that feeling of being successful. Don't be scared to compete. Come in with an open mind and just try your best, yeah. Follow, like, and subscribe. Project MFG on all the socials.